So I just wanted to do a unplanned NaNoWriMo series vlog to talk about what I can't stop thinking about and what I feel like probably a lot of you guys are also thinking about and that's just like how do you even write in the face of a Trump presidency? Last night I was in class, writing class, and there was nine of us in there including our teacher and at some point we just couldn't we were watching the numbers and it was just like what's the point like and this just collective feeling of like i don't even have anything i want to write about right now like that inspiration that feeling of joy that comes from creating something is just like not there because you realize the numbers behind a campaign built on hate and fear of people they don't know or don't trust that those numbers were just much higher than we thought they were gonna be. Like, I can't imagine how other people feel. I saw this horrible, horrible thing that happened on Twitter. This woman, she's Muslim and she's wearing a scarf. She's on the platform and someone came up to her and said, your time's up, girly. It's just like, as a writer, I'm like, what's the point? I don't want to write anything for any of these people to entertain them and bring them joy. I was crying angry tears, but not even just angry tears, but tears of just pure exhaustion at the amount of fighting that I know I'm going to do over the next four years because I'm not running away to Canada. I'm staying here. I care about too many people here, but why I wanted to make a video blog about writing is because what I do have faith in is you guys. I saw a map this morning that was if just the young voters voted to pick their president for their future, if it was just 18 to 25 year olds, overwhelmingly, it would have not been Trump. Hillary would have won. We would have not have a man who wants to build a wall. That's what brings me hope. That's what makes me love you guys even more is knowing that people who are afraid because of things they don't know, that's being phased out because you guys are so informed and you care so much. I'm just like so proud of how active you are and how invested you are and how much you care and how, how you're gonna keep fighting. And everyone who's sad today <laughs> is gonna fight with you make sure people aren't scared that their time is up. I mean, I don't know what the future will bring. I don't know if we need a three-party system, if there's too much polarizing, we need something in between, if we need to get rid of the electoral college so that it doesn't happen a sixth time where a president wins the majority vote, but not the presidency because of electoral votes. I don't know what we need. I do know that we need you guys, and we need you to keep writing. Media does have power, and it does make people less afraid. It does make people understand, even with fictional stories. When I was young and naive and from a very conservative town, I watched Brokeback Mountain and realized, oh, two men can love each other just as much as a straight couple. I felt the love in my body, physically, my heart race at their love, and it was just a movie. It was just acting. But that's how media can change people. People who weren't trans right supporters fell in love with Laverne Cox on Orange is the New Black, and they just couldn't help it. They just wanted to watch a good show on Netflix, but she's, you, you just fall in love with her and her humanity, and you can no longer just see people in your mind is a weird outlier statistic that you don't understand. And that's why I have <laughs> class in a half hour and I'm gonna go to class and I'm gonna keep learning to write and tell stories to touch people so that they can't help but have their fear turn into understanding and their concern turn into warmth and acceptance. So that's what I hope you guys keep doing too. Your voice matters and your stories matter and we need them out there. Your compassion, the amount of pain you feel today for people who are scared, the level of empathy you feel that hurts so much right now, it's gonna come through in your art and your writing and your stories and that's why we need you to keep making it. So I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Post the video that I already recorded. Um, I'll edit it and get it up there because I want you guys to keep writing. I want you guys to finish NaNoWriMo if you can. It doesn't matter if you win, but I want you to continue with your stories. And I love you guys. Okay. Bye.